Road trip! <laughs> can, can we stop and go to the bathroom? I know we left 30 minutes ago. I have a small bladder. Oh look, there's a Nebraska license plate. Only six down. Wait, I called DJ. Can I, here, let me connect to Bluetooth. It has to be in park. Okay, what, do you have an aux cord? No, do you have a lightning adapter? Why is this so difficult listening to music? Gonna be tough to find the Hawaii one. <laughs> I can't do it in a bottle. I gotta go number two. You're the one who taught me in the flaming Hot Funyuns. Dude, can you quit hitting the rumble strips? If it's gonna wake me up, I'd rather you just drive off the bridge. I gotta go to the bathroom again. No, I didn't go when I went number two. I'm different, I do them separate. Yeah, so pull over. Before we get going, guys, sorry, I do get car sick, so I will have to sit shotgun the entire trip. Sorry. Safety. <laughs> yeah, windows down. Sorry, guys. Katie always claims she has car sickness. So, uh, yeah, so, so you know how shotgun's job is to what? Navigate. Yes. A slash just stay awake with the driver. Yep. Uh, I apparently any type of navigation uh, causes her to get car sick, so she can't do that either. <laughs> so she just enjoys the views, and I do all the work. <laughs> I remember one time going to uh, New Zealand with friends. There was like 14 of us. We had to rent a 15-passenger van. And so someone at some point, before we all pile in, they're like, now does anyone get car sickness at any point? Which everyone's gotten it at some point. I don't feel like we should be you know, asking that question. But yeah, 12 of the 14 people like, I've got it before. And then I'm just standing there like, oh, I guess I'm in the back row for the entire week in New Zealand yeah, because I'll, I didn't raise my hand. I'll, I guess I'll crawl up in the uh, above cabin <laughs> Where you storage. put the luggage. Yeah. yeah, put me there. Well, you don't, it doesn't bother you. So you gotta, or, yeah, I'm not bionic. Anyone, it still like affects me. Anyone who's 6'3", they're like, I mean, obviously I can't get in the back. You know, it's like, what <laughs> I'm a I, monster. Yeah, what am I supposed to? Yeah, you're not minute bull. <laughs> I'm a few inches above average. You're a team player. <laughs> I'm huge. Yeah. Uh, all sorts of stuff, but uh, yeah, we're we're back with correct opinions. July Fourth, Independence Weekend. Uh, mm. I had a heck of a time. What? Did you have a good weekend? I went down to Branson, Missouri, and got back about so twenty minutes ago. Yes. So white. Love uh, it. Yeah, where'd you go? I mean, that's that's pretty America of you. I think. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, mm. it is. It's like I I underestimated how pop and Branson was going to be. There wasn't like any. There, there were hardly any hotels with vacancy, like an entire city like Branson. I mean, it was just fully booked up. Yeah. Actually, you know, like when you go to like a NFL football game or a big, you know, sporting event, your phone doesn't work because there's so many people mm -hmm. for three days. Not joking. I like could barely send texts. I couldn't browse the Internet because there were so many people crammed into Branson. There's just so many life alerts just taking up the frequency. <laughs> there's life alerts yeah. and Amber alerts. A lot of yeah. kids like this is my time to run away <laughs> from home. Right. I'm getting Silver out of here. Alerts, the whole thing. <laughs> Uh, I was in the Ozarks as well. Yes, you're in the Ozarks, right? That's I was in technically. the yeah. I was in the Ozarks where, uh, well, you were in the part where Jason Bateman gets into meth dealing. Probably. Yeah. I was in the part where people who aren't famous get into meth dealing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. I think that's perfect. Uh, great, great weekend. Did a lake. I I drove a boat all day. That's awesome. Um, you look like you maybe drove a boat all day. Thank you. you. Got some sunshine. I did. I got some sun. I. I was the one who volunteered to drive the boat, and I was, I was basically, I was like, I felt like Tom Hanks on his like makeshift castaway raft, <laughs> just trying to. I mean, we have this just like pretty smallish boat. There's yachts just flying past us. I'm like, hold on, <laughs> you know. And Katie's like, slow down. I'm like, slowing down makes it worse. <laughs> you got to go over the waves. I have to gun it. <laughs> yeah, you got like the makeshift sail, like he has in the movie. You're like, now, yeah, no! yeah. <laughs> like, sail goes now! up to get over the wave. Oh. <laughs> but it was fun. Uh, made that work. <laughs> Slowing down makes it worse. I like to imagine you having your Lieutenant Dan moment too. We were just like, it starts raining. Is that all you got? Is that it? <laughs> Is that all you got? <laughs> we're out of seltzers and it's waving. Is that all you got? We can handle it. <laughs> Katie's like, whoa, I've never yeah. seen like Lake Trey. <laughs> it really turns into a different I did creature. at one point. I was like, man, and she was like, slow down. I was like, sit down. <laughs> she's like, she like, hey, don't talk to me. I was like, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Everyone, sit down. But seriously, sit down. But seriously, safety first. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I have a lot of good stories from the weekend. We'll get to them right after. We got to roll the music, baby. Welcome back. Correct opinions. Fourth of July. Correct opinions. Okay, let me. I want to start with the, my favorite story. We were riding all around the lake. You know, we'd anchor in a cove. We'd get, we'd skied a little bit. We were cruising. Then we said, you know what? Let's go over to uh, the Ozarks. They have a few of these. I think I've rumor tells me that Nelly owns this particular <laughs> like 
pool, lakefront bar. Dude, let me just stop you right there. Coming from someone who's from Missouri and Nelly being from Missouri, people throw around the word Nelly. I mean, like crazy. Nelly's the governor. Nelly's the governor, I think right? Nelly might have been here one time. I so, think Nelly's brother owns this. People in Missouri, we have Nelly, we have Mark Twain. Okay. And that's it. And okay. there you just hear those everything. Okay, so as a Missouri native, you can you're laughing at me because that is not true at all. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way that Nelly okay. owns those things. <laughs> well, it looked like he did. Uh, There's bandages everywhere. That was his thing. It was, I don't know. Yeah, floating bandages. It was this poolside. I mean, it truly looks like. I mean, it was Vegas times too. It was crazy and. So we're like, <laughs> I'm excited we kind of this. ironically wanted to stop by. You yeah. know, some people were like, absolutely not. But I was like, I'm driving the boat. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's like several married couples and we have one single guy who's just like, yeah, let's go there and meet some people. <laughs> so of course, we're all like 30. They're, half the people there aren't even legally probably allowed there. Yeah, they haven't voted yet. But we stopped by for literally 30 minutes. We're like, this is kind of fun to experience. Let's go um, see Nelly. Say hi. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe Nelly will be there. <laughs> Maybe he's back performing. The <laughs> Maybe we'll do like a pop-up show. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Who knows? He owns it, right? <laughs> and uh, so we, it's just like, it's one of those pools where like everyone's touching. It's just packed. It's oh, wow. Cra- yeah, it's insane. And I'm like, yeah, I'll get in the water to say I did. So I joined my friend and we just kind of wait out there and... It's like kind of gross. I'm like, all right, well, like kind of wingman in for him if need be. So loud, uh, you know. There's a guy in the mic who's who's like trying to, you know, get people to participate in like twerk contests, like on a <laughs> table. And you're like, all right, let's get out of here. So, um, I I get out and my whole the whole time I had put my boating keys in my pocket. Uh huh. And so. I remember getting out like, okay, do you hear? Hold my phone and wallet. Like that shouldn't go in the water. But boating, those are the two important. Things. Yeah. But the key will be fine. I'll be good with that. Of course, I get out. I'm like, let's go. I'm like, the, how did the, where's the key? I was like, it must have come out of my, I know the boating keys have the floating. Yeah. Like it yeah. has a floating thing on it. But still, it's like you look out in this water, massive pool with a thousand people in it. It's just like, dude, no way is this happening. This right is now. your Wilson who got and, away. Oh, this is the volleyball. Yeah, no kidding. No. Boat keys. Oh, boat keys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Lucky. And I, I run back to the boat because I've never seen another key on there. I was like, oh, hopefully this is spare. It's not. Who knows what that key's for? Where does that go? So I go back. I'm like, and yeah. everyone, you see everyone's look on their face. And everyone starts looking. And you're just kind of like, where is this even going to be? Uh, I mean, surely it floated near someone. But I mean, who? I'm going to say. It's loud music. Hey, excuse me. You guys having a good time? Excuse me, girl. In between bonging seltzers, can I talk to you? <laughs> Have you seen a set of keys? You know. People are like, get away from me. And I go up. Katie has a nice idea. What if we get like the DJ to say something? I was like, maybe. In between getting these you girls know, wearing shoelaces crazy. to dance, yeah, I'm sure he'll want to make. <laughs> yeah, a key in hindsight, that's like, yeah, I'm sure all these, uh, I'm sure all these people are, like really sober and looking to help us. We <laughs> talked to security and we're like, oh, we dropped our keys in the flight, and they're basically just like, sorry, that sucks. Yeah, who knows how many people told him that that day? And then I go up, to, like the MC guy, yeah. the MC guy. I follow him in the water. Like, what's up, man? He's like, what's up, man? I'm like, could you, I lost some keys. Could you say it? He's like, ah, uh, as the music is just like, no of keys. Just like, <laughs> and that's what he did for me. <laughs> I was like, uh, and I remember I stood there for maybe 30 seconds and I just walked back to check to like, holy cow, we're stuck here. Wow. And wait, did the DJ have like a cheesy name? Did you ever catch his name? I, I didn't like they catch always his do. name. I'm DJ Waterworks. Yeah. Something probably. like that. DJ, screw your keys. <laughs> And, but finally someone, they, we asked out, asked around and someone asked the bartender again and someone had like turned them in. No way. So we were good. But good people in Missouri. We had probably a good 30 to 40 minutes of like. Just stress. We're just going to. Not having Make fun. ourselves at home here, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so that was wild. I remember at your wedding, not the first one and not the fake one we filmed, but the third the second real one okay that you did okay yeah i'm tra- i'm tracking uh my this the third most important probably <laughs> goes the sketch the first and then the, one the real one got married, and then the, one. kind of the more yeah, party yeah, one. got it i'm yeah got it that one was in austin texas and i for um the second half of the weekend lost the keys to the airbnb and uh boy was that fun Okay. Uh, trying to get in contact with an Airbnb host who... No one from Missouri turned those in to a bartender? <laughs> uh, they did. Couldn't find them. Okay. My Airbnb host uh, wasn't perfecto at English, and uh, <laughs> trying to figure that out was a good time. So I've been there when you're on the road, and you just you feel stuck. You feel trapped. You're just like, this is... Why do I ever leave the house? Yeah. I'm not... A, 
competent adult. You're I can't keep track of keys. Like talking on the phone. It's like I I need keys. He's like, I'm not gay. Like, no, not kiss. Keys. <laughs> I need keys. I would like you to find me uh, like a set of keys. Yeah. No. No well, gay. No gay. <laughs> it's fine. You are. Go to bed. Fine, you are. <laughs> He's like, I keep Austin weird. We get it. Is it? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, perhaps in Spanish is quizás. So that really? can get confusing too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you have um, a spare set of keys, uh, quizás maybe you could bring them to me. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Essay. <laughs> We're uh, for your house, it. your your home. Hey, hey, no homo, no homo. Yeah. No, it is for your home. We had it's for your home. We have. I had this bit with Katie where we we nearly bought a house that was right by like a uh, uh, elementary school, but it was a Hispanic one. And okay. I was just like, I'm a big believer in school zones. I don't worry about them. I just wherever the school is, you go, you'll figure it out. I had it. These these. Best public schools I went to didn't help me in any way. I, I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah. You t- it's a public school. So you send them to some rough and tough school. It'd be better for it. You know, I know nothing about the Hispanic school. It, the whole title's literally in Spanish. So that would probably culture your little, the very white kid we're having pretty well. So yeah. You just like you come home from work and you're you're like, hey, little Timmy, don't do that. He's like, school USA. <laughs> Where did you, hey, do you learn that in school? <laughs> Timmy? I'd be done with it. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. Or even just like really, like you move like every school, like in middle school, you take them to like a, a German school mm-hmm. and then high school, you go like a French, uh, French American school or whatever. That'd exactly. be a very cultured kid. That'd be kind very of fun. Very cultured kid. Yeah. It'd be yeah. very confusing too. Mm-hmm. But that's hey, fun I, idea. That's what, that's what I want to do. I think more parents should do uh, like theories and like experiments with their children. Yes. Because you only get a couple. So let's, exactly. let's test them out. I would yeah. like a, to run a series of experiments on my child lord willing someday one would be like never letting them look in a mirror ever mm. like what happens if you live your first 18 years of life not knowing what you look like are you less self-centered or are you just right. naturally uglier let's see with my firstborn child okay i like that second uh, one but yeah you just gotta so no phones I no guess. they can never look at themselves no mirrors no no eyes no reflective pond yeah no looking through the spoon upside down that you can't do that either okay yeah plastic spoons only no metal spoons in my house daddy why don't i get one of the big boy spoons you'll know when you're older yeah hey yeah bend over i'll show you a big boy spoon yeah with spanking yeah is what i meant is what he meant yeah Yeah. so yeah you eat your porridge with that (laughs) disposable uh second child i'm going to be running them through a series of tests where uh we only work out one side of their body Let's Ooh. see what that what that turns into. Just the sure. right side. Just the right side. Right side squats, right side lunges, right side curls, you know, military press, incline press. There's, that would have to be helpful for some kind of job. It would just look interesting. Uh-huh. It has to. Yeah. To be like, oh, yeah, you know the triplets down there? They got their oldest is hideous. <laughs> and the second one, well. He tries to swim and he just goes in a circle. Yeah. I don't know what's going on there. We do, yeah. We don't know. <laughs> They're a whole thing. The Ozarks. Missouri people. Yeah. I heard he knows Nelly, though. So we should yeah. be friends with him. Yeah. But I guarantee you they don't know. Which means he probably knows Florida Georgia Line. <laughs> They're still making music together. At what point does Nelly just become a part of Florida Georgia Line? The, yeah. He's very invested in them. They, they come as like a, a, a bundle he, together. He, yeah. mu- he probably thinks Missouri's in between Florida and Georgia. <laughs> is that I'm, I'm in the line. Yeah. I'm in between it. This makes sense. This is a nice synergy. Dude, do you feel like no one knows like geography in the Midwest? Like people from out of town, just like they have oh. no clue. No one knows geography outside of their like hundred miles at all. I used Katie's from Atlanta, and I'd go over there and I'd be like, "Where? This? You're almost? You can go to the ocean in a day? <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't have assumed that at all. <laughs> You're close to Florida. Cool. Whoa. I w- I told you how we uh, we uh, almost had a flight from Chicago to Spokane, Washington. It was like four and a half hours. It was like. That's not right. Are we making a pit stop somewhere? Or <laughs> just truly baffled by it. I don't oh. know anything. I don't know where anything is. Hmm. Alaska's still That's getting so bigger. so far and so big. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's still getting bigger. It's still getting bigger. <laughs> the last time we talked about that. It gets bigger every that. time. It's, I, I uh, weirdly, YouTube recommends some crazy stuff to me. So I watched some video on like Here the comes. history of Trey's Russia. Going, no, hey, I didn't search this. Yeah, I didn't search this. But it's a bunch of little boys who'd never seen themselves in the mirror. <laughs> it was history of Russia. Russia and Alaska have these t- islands like farthest, you know, both their ways. And they're like 
few miles from each other. That's crazy. Good yeah. for them. It's weird that they didn't want it. Mm -hmm. I mean, Canada didn't want it. From Russia. Really? It was for we, sale? Yep. We Russia had it. Highest bidder. Russia just kept going. East and east and east. Hmm. I love that the, the preface that you have to do these days. Like now someone was showing me a video. Yeah. Now YouTube, YouTube suggested showed me something. It. You know on Facebook it like auto plays the next one. Okay, so I did that and then I saw this video. I had a buddy doing that who was like <laughs> he was like, Man, do you guys feel like your uh explore pages on Instagram? It's just like they're all I mean, it's just girls in bikinis. What's Every with, what's with the explore page? Yeah. And I'm like, Well, I mean, now that is an algorithm. Yeah. And that is showing you what you like to see. So <laughs> I, I can't speak for everyone, but mine is sports. Oh, yeah. So I've been around a few of those guys. I mean, I mean isn't it crazy these TikTok. days? TikTok. I can't stay on TikTok every video. It's just another underage girl <laughs> shaking her booty. I'm like I legitimately have not come across that on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, Seriously. Like, you need to stop watching those because <laughs> yeah. it's feeding you. What's your TikTok like? Um, I've gone in phases. I'm, it's amazing. I picked up golf. I was going right? to say, I'm getting into a golf phase I'm on TikTok. Really, yeah, so I'm getting golf stuff. Um, had a lot of cooking stuff. Uh, I don't know. You're about 55 years old on TikTok then. It yeah, like. I know. Cooking stuff, golf stuff. Just every day. Some uh, FICA Some, retirement. Uh, decent amount of fitness stuff. And then just funny stuff, you know. Yeah. What about you? I feel like it's, it's oh some some uh d some kind of like HGTV type stuff. It's mm -hmm. very old and white of me. Yeah, <laughs> mine's a lot of uh, love comedy stuff, a lot of dog stuff. I'd say one in every three videos is dog based, which I'm all for. I keep liking those videos so that it keeps like a dog. -based. I want more dog stuff. Yeah, here's golf. Here's uh, yeah, I guess food. I could, just, I could just see golf, food, uh, some sports. Some thin crust pizza. Oh, that looks good. I might need some pizza tonight, dude. Some thin crust pizza. Oh, first one. Camping Be Like by Trey Kennedy. I'll give it a like. Thank you, man. Uh, yeah, a lot of random stuff, too. TikTok. Dude, Crazy stuff. <coughs> Billy <coughs> Eilish. Here's something we should talk about on TikTok. What is with... They're trying to push live videos so hard. Like, every, like, 10 scrolls, it's just some girl on her phone just sitting there looking cute but sad and just going... There's no. some music playing in the background. No, yeah, I know, right? No, I totally love to go to the uh, go to England one day. Mm. I'm so sexy. Okay, thank you. You're so pretty. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, 18 next month. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I live by myself. No, I don't get too bored. Why? Follow me on Instagram. Yeah, I mean, I feel like every social media makes this huge push for live. Does anyone love? I don't Does anyone think, love checking into that? Unless it, it has to be something groundbreaking. Like Kevin Hart is going to live stream with the president or something. I would tune into that. But during, it has to yeah. be on that level for me to care. Or during COVID, John Legend was like in his living room. He's like, I'm doing a concert tonight. Oh, and then it was like everyone was like tweeting like John Legend. He's, he's live streaming right now. John Mayer does a show yeah. on Instagram. That's cool. But otherwise, yeah. it, it's so boring. Yeah, otherwise, yeah. TikTok girl chats to you from her parents third bedroom she's like hey i cool i just think it's strange social media pushes the live so much because i don't know if people are I, I, it must be like data to, to back up that like if you're you know they're more engaged they stay on the app longer if they're yeah, a part of a stream so. not my thing who are these people yeah hey i don't even know i didn't even click on it i did i don't even know yeah, how yeah, i saw I that don't girl know. Well, I'm, i've never seen a live i'm assuming i've just i read an article so you're getting fed, fed a lot of lives on your for you page uh yeah so maybe, I just maybe it's because every time you're like, let me click on this live. And so now you're getting fed it because I don't get them that much. Really? You're like, let me see this live. Is this another one that's really dumb? Yep. That's okay. What let me watch for 20 minutes just to make sure it's as dumb as I'm assuming it Has is. Has anyone else seen this on TikTok? They've started to sync it up with your contacts. Oh, more getting... So I'll get like... Your friend from high school's on TikTok yeah, some now. some weird dude <laughs> that I barely knew five years ago. And it's like a TikTok of him with six lights. Like, this is Dylan from your contacts. I'm like, I, okay. Okay, Dylan. Don't do this to me, TikTok. Yeah, it's just rec recently started to do that. And it's fine. Sometimes it's I'm great. like, oh, okay. It's kind of funny too, though. Yeah. That's great. And you forget like these people in your contacts. Or just like a guy I met once. His name is James Craigslist. I'm like, oh, let's see what kind of TikToks he's posting. <laughs> Anyone need another <laughs> spare pet of lenses? <laughs> <laughs> or I'd, li I'd like to think people doing the opposite where they're scrolling through and see Trey Kennedy's dress as a bride like, like this is oh. you have this guy's number <laughs> um, why what's happening here yeah I'd, I'd like to say there's some girl somewhere that says trey from bar 
and I was just mean address. <laughs> like, well, you glad, know what? I'm glad, glad I didn't I... text him back. <laughs> yeah, it's probably worked out for the better. <laughs> Trey from bar. Yeah. <laughs> Trey, Trey from the bar. Do not text back. Is now on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Is your friend on TikTok? <laughs> Jake, redhead. Sorry. Kind That's of loud. Fun. We've all, now we probably all have some of those contacts, which is funny. It would be fun. I don't know if I have think, any of can those. Can we do this quickly? Can we find like some weird I contacts? I got nothing labeled bar. Good for you, man. Yeah. Uh, here's one. Alex Pickleball. I wonder if he's on TikTok. I think I've... That's a weird last name. Just search Tinder in your <laughs> contact. I feel like everyone's maybe had like a... This is Jake nah, from Tinder. I got you know? nothing. I got no Tinder. Bumble? No, I got nothing. I might have... I'm a big last name guy. I don't. I don't yeah, that's true. I, I, I'm not too goofy with the contacts. No, there's got to wow, be some. I have though. an even thousand contacts, not to brag. Oh, if you put the word from, you can get some. From? Yeah. What do you got? Jamie from AG. What in the world is AG? <laughs> Am I supposed to know what that acronym meant? I got nothing, man. This is disappointing. Cash from KTTS. Ooh, a little TV plug? Or was it, what does that mean? That is a radio station where I'm from, and Cash is a guy's first name. Oh, do, group me used to save to your contacts. Hmm. Do you have any group me's? Look at me. Let me look. Do you, Derek? Group me's? No. I've got group me. Oh, I don't have that. Management 5733. That's cool. I wonder yeah, what sure they're up to. to. I wonder what they're up to. Let's see if I still have that somewhere. What businesses do you have in your phone? Like, what are you calling often enough where, like, all right, it's time to put them in my phone? I'll go first. Chili's. Anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm sure everyone's uh, got one, right? Oh, here's here's a look back at my management uh, graduate course. I I said uh, I have just one on my phone called landlord. Do they think I would only have one landlord my entire life? Like, yeah, this guy deserves this title. Who is this? Um, dude. Oh, I dude. Tell me this doesn't bring back memories. Maya said, "Hey guys, I have a question regarding the exercise. I did all of it, but one answer that I didn't get. I got the answer I got doesn't make any sense, and I would like to check it with you if that's okay." In the second exercise regarding target buy, what P value did you get? Oh, and I said I got point zero 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 one. <laughs> she said, "Thank you." <laughs> this is good content. Uh, <laughs> I like business statistics question from six years ago. <clears throat> uh, oh, this is embarrassing. Okay, so I don't have group me synced, but I have Facebook synced up, and so for certain people, it'll say their occupation. When I first synced Facebook with my phone, do you guys have this? Is this relatable? Oh, bowling one right now. That's why I was just bowling. bowling out. Yeah. Um, so certain people like it says um, insurance agent Tremaine Hill, or it says like um, you know whatever they have different lifeguard coach Grace Hotchkiss. This one says FBI female body inspector Matt Heffling. <laughs> so on, on Facebook yes! at that time, he was doing that joke. Yeah. Like I don't even know yeah, that guy for the is. FBI. Female body <laughs> inspector. You got a night. And now by he's the way, in my phone. By the way, that. TikTok just feeding me these things. Look, I didn't. Uh, it's an email forward, so I didn't come up with this stuff. I'm just FBI. forwarding it. That along. guy loves TikTok. Um, on number two for the homework, I didn't see how to do the residual plot and normality plot or report VIFs. Jeez, is this masters? Ew, this business school. It'd be great to just hit these people up <laughs> seven years later. So. Hey, your past uh, group me groups are really kind of strange, aren't they? <laughs> this is. <laughs> uh, sorry, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I scrolled to the very bottom. So the oldest group message I have, it's called practice player. So this is, uh, if you guys don't know, I don't have a mention on this podcast. I used to be on uh, my college's women's basketball team. I would go to practice and we would scrimmage against the girls. The last message ever sent in this group called practice players is from me. It says. I have to help with my mission trip fundraiser at two, and then at three, I'm going to go sell my plasma, so I can't make it. <laughs> no one ever responded so college. in the group ever again. And that was it. That's the last message at the very bottom. Hope literally. She survived. <laughs> mission trip and plasma salesman. <laughs> I, I couldn't make it to practice, guys. You give my time and my plasma. That's a that's a giver right there. Oh man, <clears throat> that's good stuff. That's great Old when real life text. is that funny. Yeah. Group me, man. And another proud sponsor of Correct Opinions is Skillshare. Dude, I love Skillshare. Man, it, I, it's taught me so many new things. I love it. Um, guys, who doesn't love to learn more uh, 
skills or learn new ideas and hobbies. Like we're born to create, right? So Skillshare is an online learning community where you can do just that. They offer memberships with meaning. So many different projects and uh, and creations and and all sorts of stuff to explore. Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Uh, for instance, I've, I've checked out this class called Video for Instagram, Tell an Engaging Story in Less Than a Minute, taught by Halis Navarez. And I learned something. I learned something new. You, any, anything, right? Um, if you're just starting out with a new hobby or if you're an expert in something, like anything on Skillshare, they, they have something for you. So whether you're a pro or whether you're new, whatever it is, they have something for you. Photography, videography, design, the list goes on. And uh, you, you can make real improvement with real hands-on projects and classes designed for real life. It's also very affordable, um, which is way better than those pricey in-person classes. An annual subscription is less than 10 bucks a month. So I got an offer for you, my people. Explore your creativity at skillshare.com slash tray and get a one month free trial of premium membership. That's one month of a premium membership at skillshare.com slash tray. Group me. Well, who's using that anymore? Just get, get an iPhone and get the Android Netflix. users, yeah. That the only Android people. people. Or friends of Android users. Oh, it's a, just get an Android. <laughs> Seriously. Just that video we made, a lot of people got riled up about that. Just, so many comments. If, if all of your friends own iPhone, just... Fall in line. Come on. Accept it. That's what we got to do. You guys know. You guys, I'm not saying that iPhone is better, but I am. Yeah, I, I don't tell me. I do it. All my... All my friends are getting older and they're playing golf, so I'm learning to play golf. Yeah, I'm a team. Hey, what am I? What am I? What am I supposed to do? We're terrible at golf, but we're falling in line. So that's what they it's do what we're guns. supposed to do. Choice. All my other friends are getting health insurance. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll get some health insurance. Uh, I'll do it, dude. I used to. That was one of my bits when I first started doing all this. And I was just make people were like, "What is Trey doing? He's making videos in his apartment." We'd be hanging out, and something come up oh, in that combo, and I'd just be like, "Health insurance." By the way, health insurance is that something I need? Do you guys should, all have that? You guys have that? Should I get that? And I just, the whole room, you just see their faces. They'd be like, oh, oh my um, gosh. And you know, and some girl would be like, um, you know, I would, I'd probably. Like the sweet girl. I was like, like, guys, I have health insurance. What do you. You guys all don't you think, guys think I all have... think I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. Screw all of you. I did that several times. A hundred percent of the time, the whole room fully believed. Oh, poor thing. Yeah, Trey doesn't have anything. He doesn't have anyone in his life <laughs> telling him to get health insurance. Yeah. I have health insurance. <laughs> I need to find that lie that I tell to test my friends. Yeah. Like, just act like I'm ignorant to something or I don't have something to see if they truly believe it or they think I'm joking. The Hell of the Church one's a great one. Because the room gets pretty... Guys, I'm starting to think, like, I think, you know, I'm getting to that age. Like, I should probably get health insurance. Yeah. You know, just to be safe. Just to be safe. Right. I think it's the right thing to do at this age. And then kind of snowball it. Next thing you know, now I'm getting car insurance. Mm -hmm. Right? Wouldn't that... I mean, I'm just spitballing here. Does that seem like something I should do? Yeah. Do you guys think I need car insurance? Health and then car insurance. Um, yeah, then I'm gonna then I'm gonna get a savings account. I think I'm gonna get a savings account, and then I think I'm gonna start putting that seatbelt on. I think mm-hmm. it's time. I'm almost yeah. thirty. I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna put the airbags back in my car, and I'm gonna put that seatbelt on. Mm-hmm. It's like, jeez. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna start running my air conditioner. I don't, I don't <laughs> need to save that bad. Okay. I wanted to. I was afraid that I would like if I brush my teeth too hard, I could like injure. I, you know what? Forget it. I'm gonna start brushing my teeth. Yeah. I, my gums were bleeding it. At one point, so I got yeah. kind of nervous, but I'm just yeah. going to start brushing my teeth, I think. And then go to the dentist one of these days. I've got it. That dentist is the thing I've neglected a little. In now, that, I was going to say, that hits a little close to home because my dentist <laughs> moved and that, that's annoying, right? COVID got me out of my rhythm. And then, I'll, oh, I remember I had an, a, a, you know, these these things where they're like, all right, let's let's book your appointment six months away. I'm like, like I'm never going to remember. Yeah. So the w- last one I had was like. I got an email like morning of. It's like your appointment's today. It was when we were shooting the wedding sketch, so it's just like I' not gonna be there. And um, yeah, we shot that what three months ago now almost, and I've yet to reschedule that appointment. So it's okay. You're out of your rhythm. They want me two times a year. I think once a year is fine. Yeah. So I'm gonna go again at some point. Every time we go there, they're like, "You need to brush better." I'm like, "Why am I? This is annoying." I think if you have a woman in your life, you shouldn't be obligated to go to those things as much. Like. I, I'm sure Katie's kind of like a checkup if, for if you. If a man, if a man gets married, his health insurance should drop seventy five percent. Yeah, like I should be going to the doctor yeah, because my the frequency of my my visits are going to exponentially increase. Yeah, but my daily care is going to really increase as well, and so I think it should lower. Yeah, yeah. You've started putting on deodorant. Yep, that's good. Right before I came. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that actually was back because 
I'm sure I'm sure everyone there's a lot of people like this, especially women. She's she's big on the. You know, we we recently did away with uh, just the classic Cetaphil face wash for some kale this or that all natural crap. Is there human blood in it, Trey? I don't know. You Probably. can tell me. And there all these natural stuff. She, so at one point she's like, I guess real deodorant maybe isn't the best for you. So let's try this natural deodorant. And I, I literally was around a friend, and he's like, bro, you smell bad. <laughs> the first time in my life, someone told me I smelled bad. I was like, I'm done with it. Right. I'll never do it again. Give me that aluminum, baby. You're just Tried rubbing like, beeswax on there or something, yeah, like, praying for the best. Yeah. How is this ground up flower pollen not keeping me from sweating? <sighs> I'm still sweaty. Man. I'm still sweaty. But, uh, yeah, well, the, the the dentist, I feel like the de- I grew up with a dentist who was just like, yep, looks good. Yeah, and I got this first time I changed dentists, and this person they're they're reaming me like you gotta, you're uh, you're you got you have three different teeth where the the gums are half a millimeter off where it should be, and like whoa, all right, can I just stick with my once a day thing I've been doing? It's fine. My dad told me a story one time, so he grew up. I mean, I grew up on a farm, but like my dad, I mean, really grew up on a farm. Like worked the farm, didn't um, brush his teeth. <laughs> yeah, didn't like doctor who. <laughs> he didn't. Know. Anyway, he would have to get physicals growing up you know, put to play middle school sports, high school sports. It was like a thing, but his doctor was just like a family friend. And he said it would last 30 seconds. It was just like, you know, sign on the paper. It's like, you feeling good, Steve? Yep. All right. Well, have a good season. And that was truly what it was like. Mm-hmm. And then I think he got to college and like, he needed some sort of physical. And that's when they, for the first time, <laughs> it's like they, did, the did like the, they just slap him across the face. <laughs> you're still standing. You're not crying. Are you? Get out in the outfield. All right. You're good. And so, yeah, he's like in college for the first time ever. He's having to do like drop your drawers, turn and cough. And he thinks this guy's a sexual predator. Yeah. He's like, what in the world? <laughs> oh, mom! Why did I have to do that? What? Mommy! I'm going to report this, man. I'm going to tell Ma. It really is shocking. Like if you didn't know that you was a thing, like, heard of it. you need to check up on me by doing that. Yeah. Can you just like test my okay. like blood pressure? Like maybe a heart rate? Well, has your dad had a colonoscopy yet? You don't have to answer that. It might be personal. He's 50. Uh, he I is, but that. we've never talked about it. I think that would have come well, up. I'm just saying you might want to give him a heads up because <laughs> that's also going to shock him if he's not aware of that. Hey, procedure. now this doctor is a pervert. Okay. <laughs> this is they, not routine. He told me I had some, he made up something in my body called a prostate <laughs> and wanted to tickle it. <laughs> I go to these city docs. Colon. I learned that in grammar school. Yeah. All right. Good I would try. Hear. Yeah. Good one. Oh, <laughs> large and small. It's semi and right and full. <laughs> you got two options. All right. I'd follow for all that. <laughs> Damn, I had to keep them both. Dude, that's funny. I'll, I grew up with like a family doctor too where I didn't have to do the scarring physical us poor little boys have to go through. But then I, there's one time he was booked so he just did one of those like walk-in urgent things and I had to do the full thing and I was just like, <laughs> I was scarred. I didn't it's have to. strange. What are they doing? <clears throat> do you want me to give the actual answer or do we want to just joke around? Probably joke around about it. Yeah, what are they doing? Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> Listen, the doctor's like, listen, this this was just on my feed. Look, I didn't, I didn't choose this. I didn't choose this. Every day I come to work and I spin a wheel. And today yeah. it said, another take his shorts off. Yeah. No, so I had to. <laughs> Do I remember one time, and this might actually be like, what was up with this doctor? I was laying down. So he's not doing the like, you know, the test. And he just like peeks over. So he's like kind of over my belly looking down at me, just like lifts up my shorts and gets like just a peek at me. But it like wasn't long enough to necessarily see if like anything's wrong. All right, so I don't know. It's decently still dark. Like he's not pulling him down. Just case went. <laughs> yep, it was Yikes. like checking if a newborn was a boy or a girl. It was yeah. like quick enough for that. It's like he was, you know, I'm 14. He's like, yep, it's a boy. It's like, well, we knew that. Like I feel like yeah. you just wanted to peek at me. All right, let's do your fidgets, little son. Drop your drawers. Yeah. That's a boy. All, all right, right, that's it. Pull him back up. Like he didn't touch anything. He didn't look longer from the second. I was like, is this okay? Like that he just like looked at me like he didn't do anything. Like, if you're going to, like, see me, like, see me, you know? Like, get in there. Like, at least fake like you're doing some tests. This was just like, yep, yeah, it's about out. You're just, just like your daddy. <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. Like, maybe, what? yeah, maybe he's just, like, he's just peeking. He's like, oh, yeah, it's a boy. Maybe he thought you were, you said your name was Faith instead of Jake or yeah. something. He's like, Faith. I Let dressed me check. pretty cute back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I loved Capri's. Yeah. I don't know. Limited yeah. 2 was a cool store. <laughs> Limited to, uh, yeah, that, those limited. were scarring days, man. <laughs> limited what? I haven't, it's, no, I haven't thought about that in forever. <laughs> yeah, that, there was just one doctor just peeked at me real quick. And, uh, dude, I, what was he looking for? I, uh, and then, you know, kind of go through college and stuff. I never got any physicals. I didn't need to. But then, no. now, again, with the, with the whole living with a woman thing, it's like I should get a, 
annual physical to make sure I'm healthy or something. And I have a female doctor. And so I had a physical in years and <clears throat> it was like, let's get your annual physical. Just make sure you're healthy. And so it didn't occur to me until once I was in the waiting room, I was like, what? How healthy are we going to check? How, yeah. How healthy am we going to see how healthy of a boy I am? But no, it was, it was regular, but I, it was a scary, it was like a, the, like the, the waiting for the punishments, the scariest part, <laughs> but we got through it. Uh, speaking of female doctor real quick, have you ever had an ultrasound on you? Um, well, no, I have an announcement, but I'm pregnant <laughs> so soon. No, I, I used to think that, yeah, ultrasounds were only for like <clears throat> pregnant women, but I guess ultrasound is a way to see into oh, you. Pregnant dogs as well, I've seen. <laughs> but are there other ways? I had an ultrasound on me. Maybe this is another doctor just being like, oh, we could trick him into anything. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> he probably just it. blindly follows orders. Yeah. But I remember one time getting an ultrasound and they even put like the the sweet the sweet cream on me the the gel and it felt phenomenal i was like oh my gosh like it was a female doctor like get me out of here it's like your annual treat can i get another <laughs> one of those ultrasounds dad <laughs> what do you want for your birthday part? jake <laughs> i was thinking about ps3 can i go to an ultrasound with miss jenkins again <laughs> yeah it felt so good on my tummy yeah i think it was an ultrasound on my heart um just fyi they weren't uh, checking if i was pregnant it was uh, like to see like the the blood flow and it was, it seemed normal. Yeah. I feel like back in the day, that generation, it'd probably be something like, hey, why don't you check this boy for a pair of eggs? Because he keeps crying. <laughs> now being a man, teach him a lesson. Just like, to prove it a feels point. so good. Yeah. Like, oh, perfect. Like I got hit by a pitch in baseball and my dad's like, I'm going to take you to the doctor, see if you're pregnant, do all that wine. And, and then yeah. he follows through with it. I'm like, okay, I, point taken. <laughs> point taken. All man. right. We don't need to. Maybe, oh, I'm raising a little girl. Maybe you got a, you got a child in your belly. Yeah. You know what? Why don't you just take a purse up there with you next time you're at bat? And like actually like yeah. tapes a purse to me. Yeah. All right. I bought you one. Coach, half off. We got a consultation on Monday. <laughs> See if you're get, having twins. Go to you're playing. Go to the mall and get your ears pierced <clears throat> to Claire's. <laughs> See if you cry during that too. Wipe some dirt on it. It's like actually just jamming a soil in your wound. <laughs> yeah. What? Okay. I, I, I thought, thought it was a figure of speech. I'm not bobbly swagger. I don't need to do this right now. All right. That's a very extreme <laughs> scenario. The, just the literal dad. <laughs> It's a great thought. Yeah. You got to play up there like, you know, you got to get angry. You got to play, you get a chip on your shoulder. Yeah. So I'm going to take this Doritos Cool Ranch and uh -huh. I'm going to place it underneath You're your lucky, shoulder pads. Because I love these chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Put a little dress on if you're going to act like that. Merry Christmas, son. This is a beautiful dress. It's I a had beautiful sundress. You. Yes. It's handed down from your grandmother. So put it on. <laughs> you don't keep crying. Literal dad. Yeah, which which you which of your kids do you think will cry more, the mirrorless one or the the jacked guy on one side one? I think the uh, ooh, probably the mirrorless one. I think that's <clears> gonna <throat> really do a number on their mental health. Yeah, that's probably true. Um, they'll, yeah, they'll, they'll they'll come home from school and they're like everyone calls me unibrow. Why? It's like you're not allowed to know <laughs> that. Yeah, that is because of uh, you're so good at stuff. That's just a name. You're the yeah. best. You're the best. You're able to do it all. Okay, hold on. Let's try this. You get a call? Hello. Dang it. Come on. How do they know? Is it? Um, is my fake voice not good? The spam call just called my bluff. <laughs> After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by the big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, there's always a catch, right? Uh, so when I first heard of Mint Mobile offering premium wireless service starting at 15 bucks a month, I thought... <laughs> yeah, right. But you know what? After uh, hearing what they do, it all makes sense. Uh, it's, it, there's no secret, okay? It, the secret sauce is that their first company, they sell their wireless service online only. So they cut out the retail store cost and everything to pass the savings to you and me. Um, I, I love Mint Mobile. I, I, they sent me a whole setup, right? I, I just put the, the SIM card in my phone. Same phone, same deal, same number. I had uh, I could call, I could text, I use the internet. Work just fine. Work the same. 15 bucks. I could have been saving hundreds of bucks. What am I doing? So if you're looking to save money, who isn't? Get Mint Mobile. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. You keep your phone, keep your same phone number, keep your contacts. And if you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their seven-day money-back guarantee. So to get your new wireless plan for just 15 buckaroos a month, and get the plan shipped to your door for free. Go to mintmobile.com slash tray. That's mintmobile.com slash tray. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash tray. This episode is also brought to you by Green Chef. Green Chef 
has hand-picked recipes featuring organic veggies and high-quality proteins delivered to your door pre-measured. It's the most sustainable meal kit, offsetting 100% of its direct carbon emissions and plastic packaging in every box. You can feel great about it. Green Chef is great. I love it. HelloFresh actually bought Green Chef, okay? They're both amazing. I love them both. I've promoted them both, and I'm going to give you a code to save you some money at the end of this ad read. You're going to want to pay attention, okay? Uh, Green Chef, they, they, they hook you up with paleo stuff if you need it. They also have keto options, all sorts of stuff, wide array. Uh, I made Bavarian pork the other night with quinoa. and ca- I mean, look at me. It's amazing. And you all can do it too. Um, they, 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 whatever they have, it can fit perfectly into your diet or lifestyle, whatever you do. Green Chef's got you covered. So go to greenchef.com slash Trey100 and use code Trey100 to get $100 off, including free shipping. Once again, that's greenchef.com slash Trey100. Use code Trey100 to save $100. The number one meal kit for eating well. Should we do some segments, dude? Yes. Do you have any other 4th of July stories or just the the boat keys? The oh, main one? that's the main one. Did okay. some fireworks. Um yeah, I, I was shot a, some off myself last yeah, night. It's kind of fun. It's fun. Yeah. It is fun. I'm the classic guy who likes to throw the little firecrackers kind of near your buddies. <laughs> it's funny now having like wives involved. Like, oh, that's a little too close. That's a little close. Stop. We shot off fireworks last night between a truck and a propane <gasps> tank. Didn't that's, realize yeah. that until we'd already almost shot off the fireworks. Nice. It was like, I guess we'll keep going. I know. I don't really know the how dangerous some of these are, which I think is perfect. I think I love the American word. <laughs> right in the sweet spot. you some... Some guy in a trailer can just set up a tent and sell Chinese gunpowder, millions of pounds of <laughs> explosive for nickels on the dollar. I think it's great. It is. Oh, this reminds me. <laughs> I love. I, I went to the <clears throat> a fireworks stand and I was like, we also need a lighter. Like we we don't sell lighters here. They're like, you know, that would be dangerous. That would be dangerous. <laughs> I was like, good, great call. You guys good. are definitely safety first people. I can yeah. tell. Thank you. Now uh, that's safe. Thank you for the. Uh, <laughs> the 600 bottle rockets <laughs> the guy last night we bought fireworks from i'm checking out and he goes now are you uh active military uh veteran are you a uh, first responder are you a girl EMT. pull your pants down <laughs> yeah let me check okay that's not bad talk about a <laughs> bottle rocket okay uh first responder <laughs> quick responder <laughs> um Anyway, you know, he's going, he's, he's listing off these things that it would make sense if you, to get a discount. Right. Are you uh, retired, whatever. Then he goes, I kid you not, EMT, first responder, truck driver. Yeah. It's like, wait. Uh, do you have a felony on your record? We actually get half off for that. <laughs> do you a have truck a truck driver? Yeah, he goes, truck driver. And I was like, <laughs> is that I like Uber. discount worthy? Yeah. I mean, it's a hard job, but it's still just a job like yeah. anybody else. Like a plumber. Are you a plumber? Do you work out? Um, these for free. Yeah. Do you um, do any kind of uh, lodging Jimmy work sweep. with Airbnb? I've heard that's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> do you? Yeah. Uh, um, do you have to work see, with what else? Um, what else? Kids who are sometimes impatient. We'll give yeah. you a discount. That give sucks. You a Teachers are the cornerstone of this country. Do you have Great. any K through five? Do you have any firemen in your family? That's just that's more like an ironic <laughs> discount. Yeah. That'd be funny if you burned up. Are you a tax attorney? Because, you know, I've heard that, you know, it takes a certain amount of time a person to do tax. So, so I understand. We'd like to give you 5% off. Yeah. Yeah. Really caught me by surprise. That's great. And in my head, I was already thinking, like, do I look retired? Like, he's asking me questions like, I don't know if you need to ask me that. And then to top it off, and are you a truck driver? Mm-hmm. It's like, mm, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. At least he asked you all that. It looks like you look like a man of the people. It, yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess I was, I'd been in Branson for three days at that point. Yeah, so yeah. I, I might have looked like a truck driver. You're starting, you got a couple holes in your shirt. Or... Yeah. Yeah. I was spitting yeah. a lot. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if you like went to a fire and bought, maybe bought something with like a tie on if you don't get asked any of those questions. <laughs> Probably not. <clears throat> but dude, I, yeah. Anyway. Fireworks were great. Um, let's get into some segments. Let's do um, it. On brand, we're going to do the triplet tray triple. Yeah. Because you get it? Because our names, they both. Our names, guys. Both named three. I mentioned this before. Sorry, just real quick. Someone, I think it was on the Do Us Guest podcast. People sometimes, somewhat often think that each of us have stage names. They're like, that's yeah. kind of cool. How like, Jake, yours is like, you're doing the triplet thing to go along with Trey's like three thing. Yeah. Like, that's cool you guys do that. Yeah. It's like, these are just our names. I guess it does work <laughs> out. It's a cool podcast segment, but these yeah. are truly our names. You just see the next guy out coming. Jimmy Trifecta. Yeah, we've got he's sick. Jimmy Trifecta. We almost went with a guy named Brad Deuce, but that it just didn't make sense. Right. So yeah, we had the to three uh... thing is important <laughs> for sure. We had to just go with us. Yeah. 
Um, and it's, Sorry, it's, anyway. it's and you are having triplets. The ultrasound came back. It came back. Yeah, I am excited for that joke. It'll be the only dad joke I do. Uh, mm-hmm. But no matter what, you know, no matter no matter what the circumstance is, I will be able to say like, yeah, we're actually excited. You know, my wife and I are expecting, and we're going to be having triplets. Ha ha, good pun. Yeah, like no matter what, they're right. going to be my last name. Yeah, that's the joke. You guys get it. It's good. Uh, triple J triple of there's the week the Fourth of July weekend regrets. Regrets from the weekend. Yes, uh, we'll stay right on brand because it's it's a big weekend every year. I love it. A lot of stuff goes down. So, please start us off. What's your number one regret of the weekend? My regret of the weekend is not bringing any kind of waiter, any kind of sandal, even any kind of additional shoe. Golf shoes. I went golfing. Didn't bring golf shoes. Brought these babies, um, and that's it. I went kayaking in these. They all made fun of me. Uh, oh, I also realized while kayaking, I was kind of being like the dumb guy. Just like as soon as they handed us our life jackets, I put mine on immediately and just like being dumb. Like, guys, flash floods are serious. They they kill dozens of people every year and whatever. And then I get down to get in the kayak and I, I have a T-shirt on. I have the life jacket on and then I have my shoes on. And I'm being like, sorry, I don't, you know, I don't have waders. I'm going to try to like hop in the kayak. And I think this guy thought I like something seriously yeah. wrong with me. Thought you were retired. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> think you're saying it weird but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like he's not letting me hop in the kayak i'm like no let me just hop in he's like why don't we just go easy and why don't you just take your shoes off i'm like yeah, no i'll just hop shorts in off. <laughs> you are my doctor yeah, i know i recognize you, you. <laughs> good for i don't know you. small towns you have several rules i get it uh so it just led to a lot of bummer situations and mm. i was like oh i think i know what that guy thought of me now yeah yeah it's coming in my life jacket oh, can't be too careful yeah. I don't want to take my shoes off. I can yeah. also stub my toe. <sighs> Closed toed shoes only. Ugh, better tighten my sneakers. <laughs> my water sneakers. <laughs> See, I'm just the, the biggest dork. Yeah. But anyway, so I regret not bringing any kind of additional shoe. Mm. I regret um, attempting to ski for the first time in many years. Um, I, uh, you know, we're going to have to wrap up this podcast potentially early because my back is, I can't, I can only sit for so long. We'll have to lie down. <laughs> so the back. And of course, I, the, we had the two skis. Oh, it was great. We, we rented a boat. We wanted to rent a pontoon. There was like 10 of us. So like this big pontoon was kind of was barge out there. And they're like, yeah, uh, pontoon's broken. But good news, we'll give you an upgrade. We have a speedboat. And we were like, but is that an upgrade? That's not what we want. And they were like, they like flipped around. It's like, it, it's, this boat's twice as expensive. Do you want it or not? <laughs> like, okay. And like, well, it's a ski boat. Can we like ski it? can we ski? Do we have skis? Like, yeah, we have skis. And then when they said they have skis, they had only one set. They did not have a slalom ski, only the one set that were like this wide Uh. and probably for children. And as a grown man with a okay boat full of people, I'm like dragging for like 50 yards trying to get out of the water. And I did kind of fell down fairly quickly and I think pulled muscles in like four different regions of my body. Man, that sounds fun. Yeah. Good times. <laughs> Skied it. Got it, though. Got it. Freaking got it. Sick it. Oh, I... And I have, like, a bruise. I literally have a bruise over here from how bad I slapped the water from... <laughs> Slap the water. Yeah. It's sick. That's it's cool, just dude. crazy. When you're seven, like, tubing's the best thing that's ever happened Nothing to you. can happen to you. You are I, invincible. Last time I tubed, I think I was, like, 20 years old. And I just vowed to never do it again. Hmm. You, when you're, like, a grown man, you're just slamming the water and... It's torture. It gets scarier. I will still too, but I have definitely given up kneeboarding. That used to be my favorite. That was my go-to. Oh, I love kneeboard, kneeboarding. Yeah, yeah kneeboard's class. Yeah, the old knees can't take can't it like take they it. used to. No. It's, yeah, even sitting that way. Yeah, for real. Brutal. Like the gym, like cannot kneeboard anymore. It's kind of sad, but I can still pickleball, so it's okay as long okay. as I wear my life jacket. Golf. I don't trust those clouds. Mm-hmm. Um, my second regret of my triplet trade triple of the 4th of July weekend is not buying and welcoming Lululemon into my life sooner. Mm. Branson, Missouri has a massive outlet store and they just got a Lululemon pop-up store in the outlets. Ooh, and so I fancy. went in and I went to town, Trey, and it was awesome. And wow. by I went to town, I bought very minimal things, but it was right, still right. awesome. And it was a hoodie and it was cheap because it was out of season, but I still wore it. Fourth of July weekend. Yeah, yeah. We kayaked the next day and wore a hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> this guy again. This guy. What is wrong Sorry, with this is one guy? of my old patients. Yeah. Yeah. He actually he drives Let's, me nuts. I was able to get a fireworks discount yeah. because yeah, of Yeah, exactly. Him. Let's put it this way. He gets his fireworks for cheap because <laughs> he's mentally retired. <laughs> he just doesn't have it anymore. 
But, oh, it's phenomenal. It feels amazing. I get what the hype is about. Yeah. And getting it like 80% off, it feels even better. Yeah. I Good love outlet you, stores. I spent a lot of money this weekend. Good it was for you. awesome. Wow. Yeah, so it. I'm a big Lulu guy. I bought several things that are very out of season, but it feels like the day after, like the first yeah. school day after Christmas, you just show up wearing all your new stuff. You bought like a, a ski coat. <laughs> yeah. So I'm ready to go skiing. Yeah. I also bought a pair of skis. Yeah. I bought uh, a snowmobile. It was <laughs> really good deal. Um, they said they could ship it to me uh, by December. So I'm really excited. But yeah, that'll be great. So yeah, big Lulu guy now. Um, you will see me at some point wearing it. Please compliment. Wow. Thank you. Growing up. Yeah. It's big time. My second regret of the weekend is not having a fruit or vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> that was the weekends. I still wonder when, when I'll eventually stop all that. But uh, yeah, I went a full weekend and had only burgers, hot dogs, chips, cookies, ice cream, seltzers. That's all I consumed for 72 hours. <laughs> Yesterday uh, uh, on our trip, the guys went and played golf. And then the girl, I was like, what'd you guys do? And they were like, well, we realized we uh, we needed some fruit in our diet. So we went to like a fruit place, got some smoothies. And that was me being like, oh, yeah. I, that had not even huh. somewhat crossed my mind. Wow. Huh. Yeah. I, uh, I I tried the first, our first, uh, I was the first car there. And we had like six hours before the other car arrived. And the other cars had the dry goods, aka the chips and stuff. And we uh -huh. just had like the chili yeah meats and cheeses or whatever and dip and so i tried to like slice a tomato and eat it with the dip <laughs> and i was just like oh let's wait for the there's a reason they made ketchup yeah it's way better <clears throat> oh, than man, just tomato I, was like, juice. This, I was like this would be good i don't need all these chips and it was it was a dark six hours I was, <laughs> you poor thing i was begging for those kettle cooked chips you're like john quincy adams didn't help with the constitution for yeah. me to have chips this exactly. way exactly so for me to go six hours without it give me the chips so uh That's what we fought yeah. for Luckily, I packed my GERD medicine, so I was <laughs> able to survive. Oh, it's nice. Prayers answered. Mm -hmm. uh, I had another thing listed, and um, because of recent events, I now have a third one. I have a new third regret, and it is uh, eating what I have today slash how I'm feeling right now. I had 24 ounces of an iced coffee to start my day, and then no food. Oh, it's always a great strategy. It's now 5 p.m. in the evening, yeah. and that is what I've had. And about 10 minutes ago, I started getting real tingly. Yeah. Actually, You're some of you might have caught. Three. I did the check right here on my hands to see how much my hands were shaking. I was like, well, I feel tingly. And I just kind of put it right there. Um, I guess you guys can't really see it on the camera. Whatever. Um, so I'm feeling interesting right now. Cool. Be looking forward to some food after this. Nice, nice. So that would be a third regret, not eating anything yet today. My final third regret is um, watching the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. Ooh, did we, you tune did, in? we just got done with the ninth hole. We went to like the pro shop whenever like uh, they were talking about well, it. Well, ESPN screwed up the feed. Did anyone see this? Oh, no way. I think nationwide everywhere. It's like the, the whole thing is 10 minutes. Yeah. They, they, they stall and drag it out to just reach a 30 minute program. So like the, the introductions themselves were like 12 minutes. Yeah. Each guy that he'd like read a whole paragraph. Uh, it was entertaining, but then just the sole 10 minutes of the contest, we missed half of it. Oh. But it was electric. Joey Chestnut beat his own record again. 76 dogs. That's crazy that he still cares enough to do this. Like, dude, you're the best. Yeah. Who cares? Joey, Joey, slow down. <laughs> and But I wanted hot dogs for lunch, and that ruined it. That'll do it. Uh, it was... It was, I mean, they, they do it... They do a good job of kind of switching. They'll give you a close-up for just a second, pan back. Because a few moments of watching these people... I mean, slam dunking buns in buckets of water, and, and just it, yeah, it's just it's, going everywhere. You're like, oh my gosh! And it, you're like, is that what I look like when I eat? I hope not. <laughs> you know, I get going sometimes. Yeah, that's actually what made me allergic to red meat. It was like a psychosomatic. Yeah, like I don't want to ever eat that again. Just and then not. it injured my bloodstream, and now I can't. Uh, but we, it was great. We we got for the event. We got Budweisers because that's American. Sure. Yeah, uh, which I think it's now owned by a German company, but that's and <laughs> Why is that? Uh, we just watched it and it was exciting. It was thrilling. Loved that's every cool. moment of it, but but uh, made me nauseous and I didn't eat hot dogs for lunch. But it's okay. It's okay. Good for Joey. Good for Joey. Uh, here's a thought I had real quick about fireworks. Like, and maybe I'm misunderstanding something, but the idea of fireworks was to remind us all of like. The battles that were fought it sounds like gunfire you know to remind us of like our freedom and the wars we've won to oh, establish that. that yeah i saw it because blowing up stuff's really fun <laughs> well my thought is i don't know why this didn't dawn on me until this summer i was like okay yeah if you're in war if you're like someone like me who's not a veteran it's, it's like oh that is a good reminder but if you've like fought in combat like if you've been like actively deployed 
I don't know if I would love hearing just like, bo bo bo. Like actually, can we? <laughs> can we just like listen to like patriotic music yeah. or maybe just like talk about it? Like that has to kind of they got to be like. Who came up with this? Who came up I don't want to hear this sound. Who came up with this? Why is that guy guzzling glizzies over there? He's had 76 in 10 minutes. That's like my buddy who had 76 rounds in his face. You think the hot dogs might be triggering to them yeah. too? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Maybe. Glizzy hey, gladiators. I don't know what what it's like overseas. Just destruction. Glizzy. And probably hot dogs. Because mm-hmm. it reminds you of America. Do you know hot dogs think you called glizzies? No, I have no idea what you're talking yeah. about. Derek, you know this, right? Hot dogs are called glizzies? That was the whole pro. Yeah, it's hilarious. All the whole program. They're like, let's get to the glizzy contest. It's this hilarious new like meme thing. And Joey Chestnut's like the glizzy gladiator. I've not heard any of this. Dang. Well, then that's why it went over your head. Recties, I hope you enjoyed. Oh. My recties know a thing too bad a glizzy. Please comment below and tell me how many times you've ever heard the word glizzy before today. Absolutely. Oh, everyone knows that. Like, oh, yeah, I'm thinking about naming my son glizzy. For forever. We love hot dogs so much. That nickname started last year, I think. Glizzy Gladiator. <laughs> When he when he broke his own record again in quarantine vibes, you know, they were showing flashbacks of that. They just like looked like they were in a dark basement with partitions between the guys eating hot dogs oh. just in front of a film crew. That's better than them just doing it at home. Like, yeah. all right, Skype in, Skype in, jo- Joey. Are you with us, Joey? Is your mic on? Your feeds, you're blurry. All right, just send us the video later. You okay? Some of that hot dog bun sludge is covering the camera. <laughs> if you could wipe it off. It cut out for a little bit. How many did you eat? Yeah. You lost track. Be honest. Be honest. <laughs> Joey. Joey. How many glizzies? Yeah. Are they regulation? <laughs> Pull it in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> I got a doctor in here to check it out for yeah. you. He's the best. Oh. He's do, the best. All right. Let's let's wrap up with another segment. They're a good time. What do we think? What um have we done a spoken word up in a, in a minute? It's been a few. Give okay, give me a word. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll end us big. It needs to be patriotic. That's the only rule. Of course. Because that this is the week of patriotism. Your word for spoken word up is... Mm, let's see. What's a good one? Apple pie. Apple pie. Do you have any over the weekend? Two words. No, but I do like apple pie. I would eat one now. Do you have one? I don't, no. Dang it. Do you, what was the most patriotic thing you ate over the weekend? Ooh. Uh, <clears throat> most patriotic things I'm allergic to now. Uh, what did I have? I mean, I had Chick Fil A. <laughs> Is that patriotic? Um, it's red and white. No, I don't think that's patriotic. That's pretty. Yeah, I, I think it is. I don't know. Sorry, I wasn't a very patriotic eater. I'll do better next year. I'll get a glizzy in my system. Well, I had some of those pop ices. Ooh, nice. Yeah. I was kayaking by a family that had some, and I asked for some, and they said no. It was one of the least patriotic things yeah. I saw all weekend. Okay. I was like, because of my shoes? Because of his shoes? My yak shoes? Don't talk to him, kids. Or my yak jacket. I was big on... gets, he gets discounts on his fireworks. <laughs> Don't talk to him. <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Don't talk to him. <laughs> patriotic instrumental <laughs> royalty free. <clears throat> Apple pie. Apple pie, the apple of my eye. Mm. Fourth of July weekend. Oh, the times we had. <sighs> Eating hot dogs, setting off fireworks. It was rad. We did it all. Rode on a boat, went on a lake. We lit fireworks, even lit candles. But later this week, I do have to go to the dock so he can check my apples. (laughs) And as we go on this fourth this day, apple pie, you're always okay. Even though it's not July, I'll eat you in August, I'll eat you in December, I'll eat you in February, all year long. Because you remind me of this patriotic song. Mm. Georgia July! Best time of year! Oh, it's fire. And I'm proud to be an American. I'm even proud of this podcast. 
with a man who's retired. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. I almost stood on my feet and found a flag to look at. That yeah, was so dude. great. Yes, yeah, sir. We wow. uh ooh, we should end with this. Uh Derek had sent this. The there's a video uh that went viral. This is a Walmart. We pulled this up. This is a Walmart in Texas. Hook them. Let's give you tied on me real quick. We got we had a Walmart in Texas. Let's see if I pull this up. Went viral where uh someone started belting out the anthem over the weekend. So and... Walmart Yodel Boy or or someone else? Uh, no, this is the first viral singing song since the Yoda Boy. Yoda Boy was punching the air over the weekend. Yoda Boy, that would have. But uh, someone just starts belting this thing out. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Oh, Big Jake is trending. Is that me? Just in the produce item, produce, produce section. Wow, Hazlitt, Texas. That Walmart. Walmart logo is blue, but everyone in there voted red. You tell you what. That's what makes the American flag so great. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's just belting it out right by the Mountain Dew. <laughs> what her forefathers wanted. Uh huh. She's sending it though. Take your self checkout. Excuse me. Can I just... Just trying to buy it. <laughs> yeah! Some fireworks start going off. Oh my gosh! Dude, did you see the amount of Texas flags in there? That was, that was the most Texas Walmart. Texas. That's... That'll, that happens in Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. That's what they say. There's a part of like 4th of July that's almost like... Oh, by, by the way, the TikTok account <laughs> is at Raised Right. Raised Right. Because that's how I vote. Uh, that's so funny. That's that's beautiful. That's charming, isn't it? I was at the nice Branson Landing this weekend, and I guess a girl was going to be performing the anthem that night uh, during the fireworks display, but did like a you know a run through a dress rehearsal or whatever mm. just at three thirty in the afternoon and started singing the national anthem. And it's like, do we still stop? It's a dress rehearsal. Do we still stop yeah. for the dress rehearsal, or do you want us to like keep shopping? Right. Or that's a good point. We stopped. Okay, it's like you have full rehearsal everyone, so you have to go through. We the... needed to practice too. Yeah, it had been a while. Mm. It was really good. Yeah, I haven't I haven't been at a at a nice group anthem in a while, so maybe we should end on that. Okay. <clears throat> what song? This is, this is a rehearsal. Oh, okay. Oh, say can you see? Please, I can't. You're not really. Sorry. By the dawn's early light. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, what so proudly we hailed by the stripes. It's been a while. What is Jesse Herschel. Um uh, Ramparts watched. Sees, sees white with purple Ram mountain majesty. No problem. Don't make that. And the home of the brave. You missed the one or two words in the middle, but otherwise uh, I thought it sounded really good. Nice. Thank you. I mean, you're the truck driver. I figured you'd know. <laughs> but you liked it. Yeah. How does my hair look right now? It feels like it's good. Yeah, it is. The, the quaff is nice. Thanks. Yeah. I got a couple DMs being like, hey, I don't know who said that. I do not think you have Trump hair. <laughs> so thank you. That is what I needed. It's not oh, yeah, why yeah. I'm wearing a hat today at all. It has nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with that at all. He's got the hair, the best hair. I'm trying to become a backwards hat boy. Dang, it's a White Boy Summer, I heard. I got one of the three. Mm -hmm. And I'm having the doctor check for another one. Okay. Thanks for another great episode. <laughs> and we will talk to you next week. America. <laughs>